Hey guys, happy Friday. I know it's been another long week, an unpredictable week, and a holiday week for many of us. So I just wanted to jump on real quick and tell you the one thing I think you should know when it comes to COVID-19 in America, and it's all about the modeling. Remember, a research model during a pandemic is similar in some ways to a weather forecast. Forecasters are doing the best that they can with the data available, but that data is changing all the time. Two weeks ago, one model showed upwards of 240,000 Americans dying from COVID-19 over the next several weeks. Now that same model is showing somewhere around 64,000 Americans dying. By the time you see the video, the model could show less or it could even show more. So why the change? social distancing measures. We have built that fire line that we talked about. We have starved the virus of people and we have stopped it from moving as quickly. But it's important to note that we've slowed it down. We haven't snuffed it out. So here's something to consider. The models are only showing us to the first week of August. So when we're saying an estimated 64,000 Americans may die or that we're at or near our peak of hospitalizations, we're only considering to the end of July we're not looking until the end of the year, and we're missing some very critical months, including flu season. So let's talk a little bit about the flu, specifically the flu pandemic of 1918. That pandemic came in three waves. It started in March and April, it came back again in October, and then the third wave hit at the beginning of the next year. That second wave was actually the most deadly. And what researchers now say looking back at that event and lessons learned is that public health measures should have stayed in place longer. So back to the present. What you should know about the models is that many are showing social distancing like we're doing right now in effect for the next several weeks, some until the end of May. But we all know that this way of life is unsustainable. I know you're tough. I know we can do it for some period of time, but at some point, we're going to have to return to some semblance of normalcy. And just as we saw downward trends, when we all stayed home, the likelihood is we will see upward trends when we all leave again. So what does this all mean? Why does this matter? It's important to know that the models are improving, but they are limited and changing constantly. The facts that we really need to inform our next steps are just gonna take a little more time. That said, we can have respect for the data and also have hope. The facts and a little bit of faith going into this holiday weekend. Questions and comments, let me know. And as always, more on smarternews.com. Take care, guys.